hello my friends, this is Wolfgang with Tools for Ascension and this time I will be sharing so-called mystical experiences. This is the stuff that uh, normally is only shared among God brothers or in intimate circles, uh, but uh, these times uh, pressing uh, a lot of rules have been broken regarding teaching the public and um, so my inner guidance has been bugging me a long time to share these things that I have told uh, very few people before. So uh, you will be hearing a lot of far out stuff. Um, it's <laughs> not ghost stories, uh, I think it's way beyond that and um, please don't judge. Um, use me as a truth meter, as a sounding board, so to say. Uh, I think personally that uh, listening to stories like this uh, will raise the vibration. It will expand your awareness. Um, and probably things like this have happened to you too, but you may not have seen the significance or just pushed it out of your subconscious, out, out of your conscious into your subconscious. And um, so I, I think if you're attracted to this, uh, there will be some information that will be very useful for you. So enjoy. One of the uh, most beautiful and insightful experiences I had are in connection with the High Self. At the time when I experienced those things, I did not even know about the High Self. And after many, many years, decades, actually, uh, I think I, I found out, I figured out, what happened, and uh, actually what kind of reality you know, will explain my experiences. So, um, I was in my 20s, and um, I was in the association of a very um, beautiful, saintly lady, I have to say, in hindsight. And um, we talked about metaphysical subjects, so the vibration was quite high. And I um, played around with the energy flowing between my hands. You know, I moved it um, further apart, closer, condensed it, and uh, played around with it, you know, seeing from left to right if it changed. And uh, it seemed that when I brought the hands into kind of like a prayer pose, but not touching, and focused a little bit, I, I, I could run a lot of energy through this. So I was looking at her, running this energy through my hands, and suddenly um, she changed. Um, she had a big halo, I mean, powerful, you know, white all around, and then effulgence uh, beyond that. There was also a very powerful white effulgence all around the body, um, white and then with colors outside. And she changed her pose. Um, later on, I, I found out that in Hinduism, um, some gods like Krishna um, display themselves in a three-band they, they bend themselves at their hip, at their shoulders, and at their neck. And it's something very graceful, and uh, it's kind of very hard for me to do. Um, it's very rare that I see this, but anyhow, um, this lady turned into this effulgent being in a three-bent pose. And, um, you know, I'm a skeptic, I'm also a photographer, so I thought, well, maybe it's an optical illusion, so I moved my head sideways, you know, to see if there's an after image on the iris. I mean, I studied perception psychology, um, so uh, I knew a lot about perception um, for the time, and so I moved my 
uh, head around and no, this was a true phenomenon. <laughs> you know, uh, that was a real halo going around. And, you know, it moved. It had the three-dimensional appearance, and it's hard to believe that I started experimenting with a, you know, with an apparition like this. <laughs> then I moved my hands out of sync. You mean so I moved them like this way? The energy went down, and this lady appeared, snapped back into you know, a normal person, means no fulgent, straight spine, um, sitting there smiling, and, okay, so then I turn my hands parallel again, and start running the energy, and whoops, um, she turns back into this graceful three-band form, and uh, the closest thing I I've got to me was, hey, this looks like uh, Mother Mary. <laughs> Um, you know, in the iconography, they you know, of course, without the child, but the effulgence and uh, the love also that came through there. And again, I checked out the phenomena, uh, went up and down. Also, I made sure, you know, that the halo was not due to some um, film on my uh, on my eyes, um, that it was not an after image, uh, that it was not a perspective thing, uh, you know, that it, not, it was not the light the way it fell. So I did this three times, where three times she went into this three bent form. And um, every time, um, you know, she went into this divine form, I, I definitely had the ex feeling and experience as if I, um, in the presence of a divine being, like an angel, something like Mother Mary, you know, shining. And um, they had a similar experience to this um, in Sri Lanka. Uh, I was there with a spiritually advanced man uh, in my, from my same age. Uh, he had been living with shamans, he was, uh, had been trained as a monk. And, and other disciplines, and he yelled at me in great anger, <laughs> accusing me of having acted out of ego. And um, so I invoked God. <laughs> you know, I, I said, you know, God, here, this is, you know, I'm not gonna take this here. You know, so uh, <laughs> you know, you know what is true. You know my heart. You know, you. Uh, protect me. I don't want to have this fight here, you know. And, I mean, this was an internal dialogue, but it was very sincere and for my heart, because I knew that purity was my own defense at this time. And suddenly, you know, this man, uh, suddenly also, you know, get this powerful white aura just around the head. And then I had this feeling as if, you know, there was kind of a, a funnel behind him, like a cornucopia, you know, into the infinity, into the cosmos, you know. In a way, all the way to God, it seemed to me at this time. And, you know, it was suddenly, you know, it was smiley. Also, in a way, three-band form, not as much as the female. And saying, oh yeah, this is how I do things, don't mind. You know, basically, so this is my style here, but, you know, there was so much divinity behind there at that moment. Um, I, th I think, again, you know, it was that the uh, high vibrational uh, dimension has opened up and that I had a perception of the high self. You know, all those people, the young lady and this young man, they were connected to their high self. And when uh, through either the hand movement or through my intense prayer, uh, I raised in my vibration and s could perceive um, on the level, on that level of the high self for those few seconds. Um, maybe, you know, of course, once, you know, the vibration is up, many times I have seen um, auras around people, especially when there were good preachers that were actually connecting with the source. <laughs> oh yeah, this is a good memory. 
Once I saw a young sannyasi. This is a sannyasi in in Hinduism is uh, somebody that uh, renounces sexuality and dedicates their life um, to the service of the supreme of God. And uh, this man was so effulgent that when I looked in at him, I could not see his face. You know, the the face was only light. And actually, the sun was behind him. The sun was not a problem for me. <laughs> His face was so bright that I could not see anything in the face, and that I actually had to turn my eyes down, uh, so not to. It was just so overwhelming. The sun was not a problem. I mean, I'm not doing sun gazing, but uh, you know, looking into the sun would have not been a problem. But this face was more fulsome at that time. Uh, that was a, I mean, I've read about those things, uh, but that was uh, a personal experience. Um, and they maybe show that the practices we do work. They are pat on the shoulder in a way, you know, we even the reassurance. I hope that you also have those experiences. Namaste. Thank you.